Hello, this is Rob Coven. First thing we've got to do is, of course, install Examp. So I would Google Examp. And there's the Examp for Windows, Linux, and ISX. I'm not sure which version to go for, but I'm going to go for the most recent version. So that's downloading now. Okay, so this is what I've downloaded. On a Mac, we'll double click the .dmg and that opens up the Examp installer. And instead of double clicking on that, I'm going to drag that into my applications folder. So there's the applications folder. Let's put it in there and let's find it and double click on it. Okay, and it takes us to a setup wizard. So I'll go next, 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 next. Okay, so the setup has finished installing, so we'll finish. Okay, so once you've installed Examp on your Mac, the application isn't actually called Examp, it's called, well, you can search for it and open it there, Examp, but in the Applications folder, the actual application is called Manager-OSX. So if you open that and you get this dialog box up, you must check on Manage Servers and check that the Apache web server and the MySQL database are both green and running. If not, then you click on them and press Start. But you don't have to have that FTP client working. Once you've done that, go to a browser window and type in localhost. All one word, lowercase, localhost, like that. That will then redirect to the Examp dashboard. Then just, I would go to this link here, PHP MyAdmin. And alternatively, you could have gone to localhost slash PHP MyAdmin. All we've got to do here in order to install WordPress is to create a database. And the database can be called anything. I'm going to call it WordPress. All one word, all lower case. Create, done. Now let's install WordPress and in order to do that, we need to download it at wordpress.org. You just double click and there you get the WordPress install. Now we want to edit this file, the wp-config-sample.php and I'm going to actually do it in Dreamweaver, but the equivalent of Notepad on the Mac is actually text edit. So when you've got this file open in a text editor, not in a word processor like Word, you need to enter the database name when you created the database in PHP MyAdmin in Examp. So we called it WordPress. And next to will always be say, the same if you're working off a new Examp install on your PC, and it'll be root and the password will be nothing. So there's three things you've got to change in this file, and then you've got to rename the file. First of all, the three neat things you need to change, the database name, and that's the name of the database you created in PHP at MyAdmin in Examp, and the username, which is going to be root, R -O, o T, and the password's going to be nothing, blank, just those two inverted commas. So we're going to save as this document, go save as, Put it back in that WordPress folder, but call it wp-config.php. It's got to be that exact file name, else this won't work. Save. So here is the WordPress, the WordPress files, and there is the new file we made. There's the old file that's now superfluous. But we need to put this into the examp application in htdocs. We have our alias to it there, but to find it in your exempt files. There they are in exempt files and there is htdocs. And there we will put our WordPress install. Now we're gonna go back to localhost and type localhost WordPress. And there's the installer. So site title, test, username. Remember, you should always pick hard to remember username and passwords, but I'm going to cheat and do really easy ones because this is just a local install and I'm not worried about anyone hacking it. So terrible <laughs> username and password, but this will not be the install I use on a live web host. 
I will set that up separately. So there we go, and we're gonna install WordPress. We have a little database error, but hopefully we're gonna be okay. Login, that is the back end of WordPress on localhost, and we'll visit sites, and there is the front end. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. That's how to install Examp on a Mac, and then how to run WordPress locally using Examp. My name's Rob Cubbon. I'll see you in the next video.